Hello friends, this is Grafa and today we are going to tackle Sentinel Hunt. Now Sentinel Hunt has been pretty uninteresting lately because you can just get your EX++ score, you don't really need to climb any higher, you just need to get that 45 million. So it's been pretty boring and not really fun to make content with, especially because you can't really test. Because if you test and you get an EX plus or EX, you're kind of shooting your club in the foot. But I have uh, some new experts and I want to try them. So with regards to my formation, let me just find myself here. That sounds really deep. Um, when it comes to my formation, I usually hit... Where am I? Where am I? Where am I? Here. All right. So this is usually my formation, right? Uh, I've been trying to swap it around, but this is usually where it's at. I have the Yunchuan Embla, R2 Ahmed, R6 Gabriel, and the Chloe for the buff blocker. I have since then replaced Chloe for, uh, what's her face? What's her face? Elaine, but I think that that actually does less damage, but it should be more consistent, which is fine because you don't really need the higher EX plus plus score. And then for my team three, I have settled on using the Twins, Guys, and Sally along with the Falcon. Uh, I don't like this team all that much. I'm pretty sure I need to like swap someone onto a Hades set because like the ha the Sally isn't enough. Maybe if my Sally was at R2 or at R6, then she would be enough to upkeep the team, but definitely at R0 she is not. Anyway, that doesn't really matter because this is just all for my enjoyment. And so, today, if you guys watched my previous summoning stream, you should watch that by the way, it's apparently people liked it. I got Unas, and then I got Intisar. So both new espers that I had never had before, and I want to incorporate them into my team. But another thing that I want to incorporate into my team was Pata. And uh, the reason being is that she has this ability that when her this third skill is on cooldown, and the teammate attacks outside of their turn, she will do extra 5% of her max HP. And when I tested this, this was around an extra 2,000 damage. So what ended up happening was basically my Yunchuan, not, I haven't tested it out in Dark Storm, I, I tested it out in the VR Battlegrounds, but what ended up happening is that my Yunchuan's dog would do around 19,000 damage, and then uh, Pata would follow up with an extra around 2,000 to 3,000 damage. So I was really curious on how that would affect my team and if that would be good. So I'm making the really bold, anyway I'm talking too much, but I'm making the really bold uh, claim to try and remove Embla and see if Pita can do a lot more damage provided my team is built really fast so that my Yunchuan can attack a lot and that will work a lot well with my Unas on plus 200 speed. And now I have revealed myself, so if you guys ever find me in point war and I'm using Dahlia, well, you know I have plus 200 speed. Um, anyway, let's just get into it. I will probably skip over team one because who cares about team one, right? So let's just move on. Aside from that, that took a while. Apparently my team one lasts an extra meteor. I didn't know that and they added like an extra 200,000 score. But anyway, all right. So here's the power fantasy of the team, right? Yunchuan does all the damages with his dog. Pita will add with her maker strike and add extra 5% every time the dog attacks. Um, and then everyone else is just built super duper fast and super duper supportive. And then I guess Elaine has some damage. So yeah, I'm excited. This is my first time ever going to see this in action. Look at all that AP up. This is my first time ever using Unas. Like ever. Like, this is my first time using Unas. Okay, nice. Lands the defense break. Okay, maybe I should build my, my Yunchuan a bit faster. I guess everyone else is just built too fast. Ah, uh, he didn't crit. But there, it was like the extra 2,000. Bam. 15 and 2-3 added. And that's for all of my attacks. Yeah. Another 2-3. Just, just, there's just 2-3 every single time. Extra 2,300. Oh yeah, the crit down, the crit rate down as well. That's also really insane. Oh, and that's perfect. If she gets crit uh, cooldown up, that means she has higher uptime on the thing. That's great. That's great. So the boss should ideally not ever crit, because he has the miss rate up and the crit rate down. And then the attack down as well, which is why my team doesn't need any attack uh, defense up buffs. Uh, because the boss ideally never really hits that hard ever. So, 
Yeah. Oh, uh, it looks like iron is on cool, not on cooldown right now. Yeah, so there it is. So now, look at that, look at that AP push. 30% AP push. Oh my god. This is insane. This is great. Oh yeah, and then, um, what's her face? Elaine also has the plus 10% miss rate up when she's a night goddess. So yeah. Ain also provides some shielding for everyone so this this team is actually surprisingly tanky in this meta in this and then Ain has the defense up yunchuan has the the seer yeah oh oh yeah uh freaking munas also has the defense down so yeah this should get i think five million i think it should i like to think i like to believe Yeah, look at this meter. Look at this meter. Buff block. Not a single crit. Look at that. Look at that. He did nothing. He did nothing. He did nothing. And he's like, that's an extra 1.4 damage already. Because that was 18, uh, 1.8 million a while ago. So he should be power boosted really far already. Holy. Look at that value. Look at that. Holy. Okay. I do not regret using my Ripple off the boxes on the R2 Yunchuan. Yunchuan is so good. Like, I swear. I think Yunchuan is like my favorite R2 unit. Like, overall. I guess I could also put Ahmed in there, but yeah, he's just so good. This is great. And the better thing about using, um, what's her face? Cause like, cause like, this is like a new team comp, right? But like the other team with Embla, Chloe, Gab, instead of the Pata, Unas, and Elaine, that one's more attack bone, attack heavy bonus. But there's also a lot of RNG in that team because Embla's corrupted seeds, and then um, Chloe on her buff block or her multi attacks. It's just lots of um, lots of variants of the team. But I think this one should be very consistent. Oh, I missed the buff block or the buff block wore down. Okay, well, I was as I was saying, this team is very inconsistent, and um, it's probably just a very experimental team, and you should not use this team. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> oh my god, I'm gonna be so mad. Okay, let's see this. This is my experimental team three. Oh, uh, let's see this in action. Let's see this in action. Let's see this in action. So, I'm using triple support. I count Falcon as a support. And then, oh wow, Intasaur did so much damage there, holy god. I've been using the twins so far because I've never had anyone else to bring, but... It seems that Intasaur is a really good unit for this, because she also does damage. Correct me if I'm wrong. Let me just, let me just check this out real quick. Sorry, 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 sorry. I believe she does extra damage on the boss. Yeah, extra true damage against bosses. So, so I believe that this team three of mine might be better than the twins that I've been using so far. I've been, I know that Clara Alice has been like a thing like for the longest time, but I never really liked Clara Alice because one, my Clara's only at R0, so it all it usually just feels like I don't have enough healing. And two, I never really had a good unit um, beside Intasar. Um, some people like to use Ophelia, uh, but my Ophelia personally was pretty weak, and she's not skilled up at all, so I didn't really like her. But now that I have Intasar, Intasar really fits the role well because she also applies the miss rate up on her on her uh, S1, and then she has the cooldown, uh, the the debuff extension on her S2. So I think Intasar fits. Ophelia is okay. Ophelia is okay, I will say. But I think you want to build her at least at R2, that way she provides some more sustain. Because when you have an R0 Clara, you're not getting that immunity, and then you're not getting that like extra healing that like an R6 Clara would. This team has like doesn't have enough healing in my opinion, is the problem. But so far, this team looks pretty good, pretty consistent overall. Wow, my team's about to die. Mm, I don't know. It's rough. It's rough. That's great. That's great. But yeah, look at this. 
It, there's just not enough healing to go around. If the boss targets my units here, they're really often dead. Which is why I prefer using Sally instead for the um, HP, HP distribution. But yeah, if they live through this, I should be able to beat my 6 million high score. Ooh, the miss rate up and the attack down stacking and being really powerful. I need to watch the VOD back because I don't know why um, the boss did not have buff blocker. I guess he was getting too fast and my Elaine just wasn't able to cycle through. If that's the case, I might have to run her on... Um, on ocean waves because right now I have her on uh, I believe it's the Windwalker crit rate set that I have on my gab but if I need to run her on ocean waves that way she can get the buff blocker up longer that might help with the consistency of the team and I think that should be it if I remember correctly my score value was like 6 million something so the fact that I've already hit 6.2 million means that this is an insane team I think it's not that consistent though, because there was one point there where my Intasar was super close to dying. So it isn't that consistent. But I mean even if it's not consistent, if you know I can I can beat my high score in a matter of like one YouTube video. Is it really not that does it pull through when it counts? Okay, I don't know what I'm saying. Um but yeah, I guess that's pretty much it. That's like my literally newest best record right there, so that's cool to see. Um, yeah, so this is my team. Frick, I'm stupid! Oh no, I forgot to check! I forgot to check Pata. Okay, I'm gonna blitz. I'm gonna blitz. Come on, give me the 6.3 million again. Give me the 6.3. Okay, it's 5.3. But anyway, oh wait, can I not check the results? Wait, I can't check. Wait, did they just do that? You can't check anymore how much everyone does? That sucks. You really can't do that anymore? Okay, now that just kind of sucks. I did not know. Oh wait, there it is. What? So you have to... Okay, so maybe it's not if it's a multi-battle? No, it doesn't even work like that. I'm gonna replay this, and then I'll tune back in when everything is done. I'll be back in a second. And we are back, and that took a hell of a long time, but uh, we got the stats. And in terms of the stats, uh, we can see that Ayn did absolutely nothing, so don't use Ayn. <laughs> use Embla, kids. Embla is better in almost every single way. But, we can see that Intasar does some freaking damage here. And I actually did a lot of protection. So I wonder what'll happen if I remove my Ayn and just put Embla in there. I probably won't have enough sustain. I'd probably die really quick because I don't have the, um, the crit rate down anymore on the shield. So that might suck. But anyway, uh, these, are the, these are the things. And uh, I'm just gonna go through my relics real quick before I end the video. But I'm kind of glad. I'm pretty sure that like the Team 3, at least in terms of like testing the Team 3, this was a big success. I like, I do like Ayn though. I do like her. I'm, I feel like I might try to find a way to put her in still, but it's it's rough trying to juggle all, all the, um, all the stuff. All the debuffs. Anyway, that's pretty much it for today. That was Sentinel Hunt. This has been Grafa, and I will see you guys in the next video. Get out of here.